on the Fitzroy River in Australia, I'm hooked into a beast that means business. Good size, good size. It's coming in quite close, it's already quite icky. I'm gonna get all these rocks in here. I'm gonna need someone to grab it. I think it's ready, it's ready, I think. It's a sawfish, it's a sawfish. At last, the animal that's been swimming around on my head for nearly 20 years. Yeah. Here we go, my first sawfish. Look at this for a beast. This thing, nearly seven foot long, it's bigger than I am. And that rostrum on there, that's a foot and a half long. It's got 39 of those teeth. Each one is about an inch long, wickedly sharp. You've got a huge dorsal fin, a very big second dorsal fin, very big tail, and they anchor the body. And when the body flexes, it's this head and this rostrum that really scythe from side to side. It's about to tense. We're about to have a splash. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. This journey began almost 20 years ago. In the heart of the Amazon, I stood staring at a vicious looking weapon and wondered if I'd ever see its owner in the flesh. Now, in a remote river in Australia, I've finally got my hands on a live sawfish. So I hold that down and... The scientists, meanwhile, think they've figured out why these creatures come into fresh water. It's flat on the rostrum. Dave's latest measurements show that they're using the Fitzroy as a nursery. Acoustic tag going in here. Despite all the predators, it's still safer here than in the sea. Only when they reach eight or nine feet long do sawfish leave the river. As an adult living in salt water, this fish could one day become a 20-foot giant. But I came here to find out if this fish is also a monster in terms of deed. Now, there's no doubt that that fearsome toothed rostrum is potentially a lethal weapon, and it's certainly been used as such in the hands of humans. But I can find just no instance at all of this fish having attacked a human being willfully. In other words, its monstrous appearance is not matched by its behavior. Certainly, if you're a small fish, this thing is a deadly weapon. But from the human point of view, the sawfish is the archetypal gentle giant. Sawfish are as tough as they come. This one has already shrugged off a shark bite, as well as a recent croc attack. Yet, in a world full of nets, the very weapon it needs to survive is now liable to get it snagged and killed. My only fear, as it swims away, is that we may be seeing the last of these ancient and extraordinary monsters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.